guys, Garrett Chapel here with 910 Outdoors, and man, it's been a long time since we've done an episode of the Canada Caravan Vlog Series, but we are back today, and today is an exciting day. Today, it is finally here. It is Sunday, August 29th, and early goose season starts in three days. So today is the fun part. Today we will be filling up the trailer with all the goodies. Um, I know we've already got a few odds and ends in there already, um, but today is the day to get her loaded down and, and ready to go. Is the trailer 100% done? No. Uh, did we get everything done to the trailer that we wanted to get done by September 1st? No. But is the trailer functional and ready to hunt? Absolutely. So, with that being said, this will probably be the last episode of this series for a while, but probably not the last, um, simply because there are a few things that we still want to get done to the trailer um, that we just, a couple reasons. One, we ran out of time on, um, and two, we just didn't have the money to get everything done. This build ended up being way more money than we originally planned. Um, it's expensive uh, doing all this stuff, so, you know, we here towards the end we kind of had to um, prioritize prioritize um, what was more important of what we needed done right now and things that we could wait on. So um, either way, with that being said, this is probably the last episode for now because we're about to jump into hunting season. So I'm sure we probably won't be working on the trailer for a little bit. But before we start traveling with the trailer, there's a few things that we're going to do. So stay tuned, there will be some more episodes. I just don't know when it will be for now. Um, but for now, today, we're gonna get this joker loaded up and ready to hunt. Let's do it. going to be in this trailer right now we got four layouts going in there 
two full sets of panel blinds so it's actually four different sections um, three dozen full bodies here ten dozen silhouettes and two dozen more full bodies that we just got and one dozen floaters um, so that's the decoy and blind setup uh, that's going to be going in the trailer for now Thanks to our buddy, old Kent, over at East Coast Waterfowl for hooking us up with his flag for the trailer. Pretty sweet. All right guys, well, I know that was short and sweet, but it's like I said, we were just uh, basically getting everything in here today. So mainly the only thing that we had left to do was, so we made these little PVC pipes to hold uh, two goose flags and the, the magnet that we used to pick up, pick up our spit holes. And then uh, got everything strapped in here. Uh, did have to put a battery in the migrator. Um, really the only thing construction wise I guess if you want to call it we um you know we put those eyelets in here uh that way we could have the strap for the skinnies to keep them on the shelf put our random odds and ends in there do a bunch of decoys in here uh some some odds and ends with all this jazz just uh some you know some basic essentials some gun oil some TP some some mosquito bug repellent that's very important in North Carolina a uh, sweet flag that old Kent Jones hooked us up with. Appreciate it, Kent. And uh, we even put a license plate on this joke. She's not completely done, but she's ready to hunt for now. So stay tuned and uh, whenever we finally do something else to it, like I said, we still got a few things we want to do eventually. We just ran out of time and money. So whenever we get back after it, we'll shoot another episode. But for here, we're ready to go hunt. Let's go kill something. <laughs>